Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single boss, every single everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a real Joker, baby size, Gary Butterfield. We got Dog Joker, we got Batman Joker, and now Shit, we got I Baby forgot Joker. The, I, forgot our, I forgot Dog the Joker. Of, yeah, nobody forgets about Dog <laughs> Joker. He's going to plant a little bone bomb in your, like, under your bed, you know? Yeah. He's going to bring you your slippers, but they're going to be replaced with bombs. Wasn't he just the Joker, but he said woof a lot? <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually remember the lore. Oh, yeah, boy. We didn't do the tie-in comic. We didn't do the, make the Kickstarter goal for the tie-in comic. Let me just comic. check the Everything to Guppy wiki real fast. Mm-hmm. Those fucking idiots at wiki. <laughs> like, wiki. Wikipedia said it worst. Yeah. Um, hey, man. Hey, be- Nog, man. Be- before we get into it, can I tell you a funny thing that happened earlier tonight? Yes, please. Was I there for it? Yep. Then yes. But it was behind your head. Oh, no. Gary, I thought we were saving this one. I thought, oh, no, yeah, you're right. We're saving this. Get ready, people. Yeah. In two weeks. Content you tell me the fu- coming. Yeah, you can tell me the one. You're, we each have a fun thing we're bringing to recording sesh yep. tonight. And will you I, And re- rephrase that? I'm going to invite you to share yours. Oh, thank you, Gary. Mm-hmm. Uh, so tonight we went to the old plaid pantry. Oh, yeah. Uh, immortalized in various duck feed shows is the only place Gary gets sustenance that is not wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the plaid pantry has a, a wonderful cast of characters working there. Mm-hmm. Tonight, I've not seen this guy New before. New guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of like a pretty big dude, and we're big dudes. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe 25. So you know he's big. Yeah. He's a big boy. Mm-hmm. So Gary and I are just walking around the store having our two loud conversations about pub cheese. Yes. Uh, Which, can we sidebar real quick? Yeah, please. I love how close I feel to you now that I've discovered our mutual synch- like synchronous yeah. obsession with pub cheese. I was walking it like, I was just like, Gary, you know what I've been like really fucking up lately? Yeah. And I was pub like, cheese. and and it just like, I've literally gone through, and then none of this is going to make us sound good. Um, all the things. Gary, that's not what the point of the show. Yeah, that's not the point of the show. But I have been in a pub cheese snack mode and it has been my preferred snack. And I've been I've gone through two tubs of pub cheese in like the last ten days. Yeah, each of which la- lasted me two days. Yeah, because it's like the spray cheese, but it has the merest modicum of dignity to it. It's a little bit more solid. It's like an al dente spray cheese. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> stop naming improv groups. <laughs> um, it's it's like a set by al dente, al dente spread spread cheese, uh, spray cheese. And it comes in a bunch of different flavors. Uh-huh. It's got, it's not a, it's not a weak cheddar. I hate a weak cheddar. Something that's no, it's a flavor, sharp, that's a sharp cheddar. It's, it's got a some sharp presence. cheddar. It's got, it's got some presence. And I got it with Trader Joe's brand pumpernickel pretzels. Interesting. See, Gary, I'm going with the Trader Joe's brand, uh, the olive oil breadsticks. Interesting. Yeah. That is the different, very different takes on the same mm-hmm. basic cheese. Yeah. Um, and it is, I just, no longer feel close to you. It is a taste sensation. Well, we're now we're like cousins instead of brothers. Oh. In terms of pub cheese. Gary, I've already said my piece about adopted <laughs> yeah, can siblings. Can we fuck? Like, yeah. I, mean, I guess I'm talking to you about the, since you're the expert. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But it, it is such a delightful taste sensation. I the love it. The rule is second cousins are first cousins with the lights out, by the way. Thank you. Um, okay, back to the regular bar. That was the okay. end of the sidebar. Yeah. So we are in the plaid pantry. Uh mm-hmm. Gary, uh, before we got in there, was talking to me about his tabletop campaign. Yep, no spoilers, because uh, some people might listen to it who are going to play it. Sure, but, uh, and also it's important for this story that I am carrying a plate of leftovers from the Wings Place. Mm-hmm. In one of those uh, carry-out containers that has like the, it looks like a pie plate, essentially, mm-hmm. with like a, a white flat thing on top. Mm-hmm. So we're in line, uh, and Gary says to me something along the lines of, oh, by the way, I still need to tell you about that thing from that thing. Yes. Um, and I, go, I was talking about the, camp- the campaign, uh-huh. but because I was in polite company, I did not want to just be like, hey, I, I wanted to tell you more about my role-playing game tam- campaign. Because that just seems like the kind of thing that somebody, if they were making up a line for me, uh-huh. like if I was being Mystery Science the- Theater 3000, somebody would make me say that to a clerk. You know Plus, I, you know, I, yeah. you don't want that guy to get spoilers either. No, no, no. He might join. Yeah. Uh, and I just, I, I kind of quietly go, vague. And the guy laughs. And then he goes, he looks at what I'm holding and he says, you uh, you guys getting ready for a big pie night? Now, people are listening. <laughs> Sit with that for a second. What do you think that means? <laughs> yeah. This is the first line of this conversation with this yep. human being. 
Yeah, human being. He just kind of quietly goes, you guys getting ready for a big pie night? Big pie. <laughs> pie night. Night. Big pie night. Um, and, and you might I... think that we joked about that in the last episode. That's not out of order. <laughs> we just no, that's what we like to call foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, uh, uh, so we think, at first I don't, I, I'm not registering how weird this is. I thought he was just talking about your leftover container. <laughs> no, no, so I, I'm, I would like yeah. it on the record. I registered how fucking weird it was. Yeah, for what I mean, I, reckon it, I just felt like it needed to be addressed. So then I like, I'm like, no, no, that's you know, and I point to the container, and then yeah. I'm like, yeah, but, and then I proceed to uh, like the opposite of seeing red, where I'm like, I don't remember everything I said, but I just kind of stammered my way out of it for a long time. And you mentioned that you were times. like, you basically said you didn't want to talk about your tabletop campaign in front of him. Yes. I said, and I was he really was like, dorky. no, I would love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, I was like, I was, I was like, it wasn't, I thought at first maybe that I was like, oh, like maybe he thought it was something like illegal or we're talking about weed or something. I was like, no, no, it's actually too dorky. And he's like, I'm cool, dorky. And I'm like, why are you, why are you trying? Why won't you give me an out? Let me go. You know, I don't like, I need to know that you're okay with dorky. Like, yeah. and, and I want to be clear. Sometimes when we tell these stories about Gary and Will not dealing with human beings, mm-hmm. uh, we are like, hey, get a load of these weirdos. Yeah. We are the fucking weirdos Th- in, in this story. This guy is awesome. I, I, yeah, I think that he did the right thing as far as, like, really putting us on blast and being this like, guy, no, no, share me the thing. This guy created Big Pie Night as a concept. And I like Big Pie Night. And I would like, like to have what, a Big Pie Night Gar- or a Big Pub Cheese Night. Yeah, do you think he thought is Big Pie Night the two of us are perhaps mm-hmm. lovers and we're going to go home and share a pie? Or just friends and that's something cool friends do. Yeah. Like we go and get a pie. Fuck Gary, and then why we didn't we have Big Pie Night? I don't know. He's right. That's, that's going to be a new, a new preemie episode. Yeah. Like a feed preemie. <laughs> it's Big Pie Night with Gary and Will. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is good. Is this, uh, oh, is this Huckleberry? Huh? Yeah, I think I don't actually, I've never seen one in real life, but mm, it is good. It's like a, it's like a different kind of berry, you know, and that'll be the show. What am we talking about today, Will? Harlequin Baby. It's boring. It's boring. Uh, he shoots in a split way. He shoots a little V-shaped. Thing. They do slightly more damage than regular tears. Yeah, it is slightly better than a regular boring familiar, I think. Which is slightly better than nothing. Yeah, uh, and it's part of the conjoined set. Uh, the only interesting thing about this is the theming on it, which is Harlequin Babies, which is a birth defect, uh, which uh, f- I think for most people looks pretty upsetting to look at. Mm-hmm. Don't Google it, please, if you don't want to see something upsetting. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's gross. And it's just, you know, it's Edmund Mc- McMillan's, like, obsession with deformities and, you know, like his and whole... And them happening to babies. Yeah, the, his whole thing that he's, like, he's kind of a Nine Inch Nails video. You know, um, like a little a, bit, but with a fedora. Yeah, fedora with a nails video with a fedora. Uh-huh. <laughs> the meanest thing that anyone's <laughs> ever said about anyone. Yeah. I apologize. It's okay. Uh, other interesting thing about this is that like some of the uh, baby related items, uh, you can get this from polyps, mm-hmm. which are a specific kind of rock that shows up in the womb. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, that's really it. Yeah, it's a familiar. We're on the record about familiars. They are not especially exciting. They are moderately helpful. Yes. And that's it for familiar. So until next time. Oh, Gary. Have yourself a pretty little pine nut. What? We got we to gotta give the seed. Legally. Oh, yeah. Well, huckleberries have plenty of seeds. Yeah, that's Gary. God mm-hmm. damn, I love the king of the segways. You're the big, you're the big pie squire. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my lord. Do you have my coconut cream? <laughs> yes, my lord. Yes, Are my you lord. voiced by a Warcraft character? <laughs> yes, yes, my lord. lord. Stop picking on me. Zog, zog. Um, <laughs> zog, zog. um, I got a seed for you, Gary. I would <clears throat> love to receive it. Here's a switch one. Ooh, it's for greed mode. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um. R. P. Y A V T P X, my lord. And I just want to say that's actually for greedier mode. Uh, oh, thank Gary you. Gary lied to you, mm-hmm. people. I'm the only one you can trust. This is my I, show. I am on House of Pies, the lying <laughs> show about Pie Night. Once again, this show's real <laughs> destiny is just to repeat old comedy bang bang bits. Yep, we're getting there. Yeah. 
Um, I did start like, with a Hanong man. This I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're, we're, we're bookending it, baby. Um, if you like the show, head on over to patreon.com or patreon.com. Sure. Slash Duckfeed TV. Throw Duck. us a couple buckaroonies. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, everybody. Cake or pie? Aren't I interesting? Um. Yeah, pie, though. Don't, please. Okay. Don't engage. Very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> done and done. Um, good night. Good night. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little <laughs> too real there. No, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We can save that for another slower week. I have strong feelings about the annoyance of that question. Yeah? Yeah, it's just, it's one of those ubiquitous internet questions. Yeah. <laughs>